Please welcome LinkedIn Vice President of Product, John Gerson. Hello, everyone. I'm John Gerson. I lead the product organization for Talent Solutions. And I am so excited to be here on our 10th anniversary of Talent Connect. You know, 10 years ago, Talent Connect was just a couple hundred people in a room in San Francisco. Today, the roughly 5,000 people in this room and the millions on the live stream are the people leading the world of talent. This event has become a moment for us to come together as a community, a moment for us to look to the future and feel inspired about what's to come, a moment for us to connect with each other, to learn from each other, and to reach higher. On this 10th anniversary, I'd also like to take a moment to reflect, not just on what we do or how we do it, but on who we are and why we do what we do. In a way, the first Talent Connect was 17 years ago when our co-founders, Reed Hoffman and Alan Blue, started LinkedIn because they believed in a very simple idea, that by connecting, people could help each other. This idea touched on a powerful truth about the way our world works, and it's driven LinkedIn's growth to over 650 million members today. So what does this mean for us at LinkedIn? What is our role? Our job is to enable you to connect with and help others, because you change people's lives, and the teams you build go on to run the products and services that run the world. That's your profession. You inspire us. The work that we all do is particularly compelling because we're at an inflection point. The last 10 years have brought huge trends that are reshaping the market today. There's been rapid digital transformation powered by everything from new web technologies to artificial intelligence. It's happened in logistics, in healthcare, in marketing, and it's happening in HR. As our economy shifts more from manual tasks to knowledge work, companies are recognizing that getting the best people with the best ideas and ability to execute is critical. Every single hire has more technology at their fingertips than ever before, meaning they can have greater impact than at any other point in human history. This kind of seismic shift happens only once every couple of centuries, and it's happening today. We used to talk about talent like it was a commodity. But talent is not just some resource. It's not some mineral to be mined. This view forgets the people, their unique abilities, their unique needs, their aspirations, and the culture they create. Today, we recruit from the same schools and companies and wonder why we're failing to improve diversity or close the skills gap. We plan new offices and new teams based on gut feel around old economic centers and existing customers instead of where the new ones will be. And our engagement surveys keep saying the same thing without the transparency or real-time action that would make a meaningful difference. It's time for a change. We believe that the next decade will bring about a profound shift in orientation a shift away from talent as a resource towards a more people-centric approach. We hold the fundamental belief that if you solve for the growth, engagement, and happiness of your people, you'll naturally achieve better productivity and results. We call this people success. 10 years ago, we had a single product to help you hire, but working in single siloed product experiences is no longer sufficient. You can't know the right learning content to deploy without first understanding what people feel is missing from the organization. You can't know the right people to hire without first planning a broader talent strategy. And you can't bring the right people on board without first creating a culture that people want to be a part of. Our theme for this conference is better together. And our vision is that these products come together in a way that helps you understand the bigger picture. Now is the time for a more holistic solution to help your employees, the people who devote their professional lives to your companies. Because that's what they deserve. And you deserve a platform that can do it. That's why we do what we do. That's who we are. 
in the midst of this sea change. We're here to be your partners, to help you plan a talent strategy, hire great people, and develop them into winning teams. There are a few of us here today representing the products that underpin this vision. And though this is a vision for the future, these products are real and here today. And this process, plan, hire, develop, this process starts with Talent Insights. At its core, Talent Insights is designed to help you make better talent decisions in the most demanding of times. Companies today recognize they need a data-driven people strategy, but it can be hard to figure out how to make that happen. The data is often poor or cobbled together from several different sources. Talent Insights changes all of that. It's a global labor market analytics product that leverages data from our 645 million members, 20 million jobs, tens of thousands of standardized skills and titles. We can provide real-time insight on supply, demand, and competition for just about any talent pool in the world. We can show you which emerging skills you need on your team, where to find those people, and who you're competing with to get them. But we're not just proud of what this data can do, we're also proud of the way that it can help people, like job seekers in areas without a lot of opportunity. Imagine for a moment what it feels like to be a highly qualified job seeker in an area that just doesn't have as many jobs around. It probably feels frustrating. You have the skills and ambition, but there just aren't enough jobs around for you to get your fair shot. And if you're unemployed or your job isn't going well, there's a good chance that's the biggest thing going on in your life. Talent Insights helps companies find great people like that and bring them the opportunity they deserve, no matter where they are. Let me talk through a quick example of how this is coming together for one of our customers, Workday, who's not just a partner of ours, but also a Talent Insights customer. Workday was looking for machine learning engineers and having a hard time finding the right talent in the saturated Bay Area labor market. So they turned to Talent Insights and they uncovered several markets in the Pacific Northwest with more favorable hiring demand. As they started sourcing from these talent pools, they saw their in-mail response rates double. Their time to hire went from four months to four weeks. Because of LinkedIn scale, and member engagement, no other company can provide better real-time, self-serve insights on the global professional labor market. Simply put, nothing like this has existed before. And it's why Talent Insights has become the fastest-growing enterprise product in LinkedIn's history. There are roughly 1,300 companies using Talent Insights today, and that number is growing rapidly. This speaks to the urgency of the need for data in the talent planning process and the rapid evolution of the HR function. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear it from another customer. Let's roll the video. Electrolux, it's a leading global appliance company that helps improve the lives of millions of people by reinventing taste, care, and well-being experiences. We are successful because of the talent that we attract, hire, and develop. The labor market in the U.S. is more competitive than it's ever been, specifically in the manufacturing industry. We need every edge and advantage we can possibly get in order to attract and retain talent. Trying to map out a strategy can feel a lot like predicting the weather. We need data to be able to create an accurate forecast. I love that I have access to all of this data and can view it in so many different ways. With Live Links, I can create a search, but instead of creating a report and using that to source candidates, I have direct access to the profiles. That's why Talent Insights is really a game changer for us. I can confidently tell my hiring managers, this is the talent available in the market, this is where we can find that talent, and this is why this candidate is a great hire. Life at Electrolux, it's about expanding and exploring new ways of making an impact. Talent Insights provides us with a lens and visibility into talent pools across all markets we've never had access to before, which in turn shapes our company's future and sets us up for real success. It's so much fun to see the impact that Talent Insights is having for our customers. But you know, when we first started creating this product, we were thinking primarily around the strategic use cases, like people analytics and major talent decisions. 
But there's something else that started to happen, and we suspected it might. As recruiter users started incorporating talent insights into their sourcing process, they started achieving even better results. They were uncovering new talent pools and seeing consistently higher in-mail response rates. And that's why, for users of both products, we are directly integrating talent insights with Recruiter. This will help enable... <laughs> this will help enable your entire team to set expectations and build credibility with hiring managers based on insights like how large or small the talent pool is, how in demand these professionals are, how many of them might be open to new opportunities. We'll help you expand your reach into new talent pools with things like additional companies to target, locations to consider, job titles to include, industries to source from. We shared how so many companies are using Talent Insights to make better talent decisions and make their recruiters even more effective. But these are just a few of the reasons why we're so proud of all that we've accomplished with you through the launch of Talent Insights. We're also proud not just of its impact on your companies, but of its impact on the people you can help, on those job seekers in areas without a lot of opportunity. To talk more about the investments we're making to help job seekers, please welcome Monica Lewis to the stage. Good morning, y'all. My name's Monica Lewis, and I lead LinkedIn Jobs. We're gonna spend a couple minutes on how LinkedIn is creating better odds for job seekers, which in turn really means better odds for all of you in hiring. We all work in talent, so I imagine at some point a friend or a family member has reached out to you for tips on the job search. So raise your hand if the advice you give them includes, hey, you gotta tap into your network and find a way to stand out. So we're gonna try something. Keep your hands up for a moment. Turn to the person next to you, lean in, and give them a high five. Or if that's not working, go ahead, give yourself a high five. Because we all know a successful job search doesn't come from logging into a job board and just focusing on application after application. And you know, I learned that lesson the hard way. Rewind the clock back a decade or so, I found myself in a job that just wasn't a fit for me. The Sunday scaries were a guaranteed weekly occurrence. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Dread of the upcoming week would ruin my day, just like that dark cloud on the horizon. I knew it was time for a change, so of course I started applying for jobs. I applied to over 30 jobs, and guess what happened? Well, I didn't get any response to 28 of those applications. I did manage to get two actual rejections. I can still remember how lonely and how demoralizing it was. And we've learned from speaking with thousands of job seekers that that experience no matter who you are and what your background is, it's universal. Job seekers routinely apply to dozens of jobs, never hearing back, never getting an interview, never knowing what they can do to improve their odds. My own search turned a corner when, partially out of wisdom, but mostly fueled out of desperation, I reached out to my community and asked for help. I was suddenly hearing back within hours and making progress. And reflecting on this, what's perhaps most surprising is where that magical, life-changing introduction came from. It wasn't from a powerful, highly connected person. Let's be honest, I didn't know any of those people. No, it came from my amazing friend, Robert. And yes, that is his LinkedIn profile photo. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Robert was the one to introduce me to the wonderful person who would become a fantastic manager and mentor to me for the next couple years. 
So yes, I learned the hard way that a successful job search doesn't come from just focusing on applications. And if I were to do it all again today, my approach would look so different. In fact, it would look a lot like the new LinkedIn job search experience. This experience is all about creating better odds for job seekers. Better odds of being amongst the first to find a matching opportunity, better odds of finding a way in through your network, and better odds of standing out based on your skills. I am so excited about this experience, so let me show you what it looks like. It all starts when a job seeker comes to LinkedIn or fires up the LinkedIn app. They can now so easily share with us what they're looking for in their next job. They can tell us what titles they're interested in, the type of work they'd like to do, if they're open to remote work, and more. From there, they can share that they're open with the community of recruiters, and they can set up a job alert in one tap. Job alerts are an amazing tool for job seekers. They kind of put your job search on autopilot to ensure that you never miss out on a matching opportunity. And we're delivering them through channels like push notifications so that job seekers can literally find out about these opportunities within moments of them being posted. Heck, I even have a job alert running because you never know when that dream job, gardener in Hawaii, is gonna get posted. From there, job seekers come to LinkedIn to learn more about the opportunity. And we make it so simple for them to find their way in. We're showing them right on the job detail page who they know at a company. And job seekers are reaching out to their connections to learn more about the company, the culture, and of course, to ask for a referral. Getting referred is awesome. As Jeff mentioned, it makes you nine times as likely to get hired. So there's no doubt that referrals are powerful, but getting a job isn't just about who you know. It's also about what you know. At LinkedIn, we're creating a place where everyone has equal access to opportunity based on their skills. And that's why we're entering the skill assessment space and we are going big. Already, over two million people have taken one of the 75 skill assessments that we offer. By this time next year, we will have doubled the number of skill assessments, and we expect over 10 million people will have taken an assessment. But what makes them so special is how powerful they are. On LinkedIn, Take an assessment once. Pass it, and you can showcase it on your profile for the whole world to see. We're also helping people who don't pass the assessment. By connecting assessments with LinkedIn Learning, we can recommend relevant courses to help those members gain that skill. Passing just one assessment makes you 30% more likely to get a job. Talk about 10 minutes well spent. And that's happening because we're making sure that when you have your jobs posted on LinkedIn, when you're sourcing and recruiter, we're helping you find this amazing pool of talent. Just check out the new skills filter the next time you're sourcing and recruiter to tap into this awesome pool of talent. And across all of these experiences, we're also reaching far beyond LinkedIn members. This year, we launched a brand new guest experience. Now when job seekers come to LinkedIn, they no longer need to sign in or log in or go through a sign up flow. They can now just immediately start discovering and applying to great jobs. It means more opportunity for more people. Together, these experiences are what makes LinkedIn the best place to come and get a job. They're a big part of why we've helped over 4 million people get hired in the past year. But what does it all mean for you? Well, one of our competitors mentions that they can deliver a qualified applicant in 24 hours. 
As a result of these investments in the job seeker experience on LinkedIn, we're finding that we can do it in 24 minutes. It means more great hires from LinkedIn for you than ever before. And bringing a new person onto your team is such an important moment. We are thrilled to be part of it. So with that, I'm going to hand it back to John, who will share more on what we're doing to make it even easier for you to find great talent. High fives are better together, too. We've talked a lot about how LinkedIn is putting people at the center of job search and changing the way that people find jobs. But just as candidates want better odds of landing their dream job, recruiters want better odds of finding their perfect candidate. Let's face it, you're not in recruiting because you love sifting through hundreds of resumes and applications. You're in recruiting because you get excited in that magic moment when you know your candidate is going to crush their interviews. All of these features that Monica just talked about, these are signals that we're bringing into our jobs and recruiter offerings to help you find that right candidate even faster. And now, we're rolling out the new Recruiter in Jobs, a massive upgrade to our entire hiring platform. This initiative started with a very simple idea that by connecting these products, they could be better together. We've come a long way, and that vision is now a reality. I also want to take a moment to recognize that many of you are in the midst of this big upgrade. And I want to give a huge thank you to the thousands of people that shared feedback to help make these products better and better. We're building this together, and we couldn't have done it without your voice. And look at how much we've done together. We've launched 15 new features in the new platform. These new slide-in profiles make these products a breeze to use, and the automated candidate notifications save so much time, and they help candidates understand where they are in the process. Every one of these features is making these products more intuitive and more powerful. But I want to concentrate on the core of the new workflow this enables to make your recruiters so much more productive. If you have an urgent role, and a hiring manager breathing down your neck, you're using all the tools available. You're sourcing, you're posting the job, you're using talent media to bring in new leads. But now, with the new recruiter in jobs, you no longer have to spin up three different work streams on three different products to make this happen. All of these products now exist as part of a single platform. All of these candidates, all of these leads end up in the same place. And this single pipeline gives you so much more power to act quickly on the best candidates and bring them in the door. I think one of our beta customers, Chad Kopkis, said it best in an almost poetic and humorous way. Projects and jobs were two planets who visited each other every once in a while. Now they live together. This is integrated. This is easier. We thought that was a great quote. But there's something else going on with these products that might not be obvious on the surface. By bringing all of these pipelines together, our artificial intelligence can learn from every action you take across all of these products. To talk more about the way that artificial intelligence is impacting the products you use, I thought it would be fun for you to hear directly from the source. So I'd like to invite up our VP of Engineering for Talent Solutions, Maria Jang, to the stage. Hi, John. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here today. As a former LinkedIn Talent Solution customer myself, I've always wanted to come to Talent Connect, and I finally got a ticket. <laughs> it's great to be here together. We've talked about the role of matching in our marketplace, but before LinkedIn, you were the CTO of Tinder. Can you tell us about that very different kind of matching? Sure. <laughs> before I answer, Anyone here a Tinder user? It, it's OK. I see a few of you pointing to the person sitting next to you. You can ping me later to get some free super likes. I feel so fortunate to lead a team that help connect people to opportunities every day, everywhere in the world. And of course, as an engineer myself, 
I'm also super excited to get to work on this massive data set at LinkedIn, solving complex problems at global scale. I'm excited about that too. I mean, there's billions of interactions between job seekers and companies on LinkedIn. And members tell us so much about who they are and what they want. We can see what jobs they're looking at, who they're connecting with. Maria, I thought it would be great if you could share a little bit about what all that data enables us to do. Yes, totally. So what I've learned from working at a company, at Tinder and LinkedIn, is that the company with the best data would make the best matches. John, as you know, data is the fuel for AI. The more data you feed into the AI engine, the more relevant, accurate, and powerful the outputs are. Let me give you an example. Once someone updates his LinkedIn profile with a new job, we learn what made that match work between a candidate and a company and a specific role. That simple action of someone getting a new job happening millions and millions of times over gave us the visibility into hiring globally. And that insight enabled us to build AI at a level of scale and precision that has never been seen before. That's right, Maria. And I'm, I'm really thrilled about how much we've been able to achieve. You know, there's all this is coming together and all of these features are designed to help you zoom in on the right talent that much faster. So it's no surprise to see that the early results show recruiters are being more productive with every single search. And the feedback has been great. Recommended matches is a huge time saver. It kind of drives me like I'm on autopilot. It's definitely an advantage. Yeah, totally. Our AI has gone from being reactive to answer the questions you have to being proactively helping you. And what about time of response? Do you want to say something about that? Yes, it's so awesome to see these positive feedback from our customers on being able to quickly zoom in to the right candidate. But it's also very important to move quickly on that candidate. Let me share a stats with you. 70% of people respond to LinkedIn email outside of the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. So it's critical that we re reduce friction and help you respond quickly, no matter where you are. That's a really valuable insight. And frankly, I know our mobile experience is not where it needs to be on that front. But Maria, that's something you've been working hard to fix. Can you share a preview of what's coming? Yes, I can't wait. I am so thrilled to announce that we've completely revamped our LinkedIn Recruiter mobile app. Both iOS and Android will be available to download by the end of this year. This app has such an incredible and intuitive UI, and it has great new features, like notifications when someone responds to an in-mail. So you can get back to them and continue that conversation in essentially real time. I know this is gonna be a very welcome update. Maria, thank you so much for sharing all of that. Thank you, everyone. Now I gotta go back to work so we can launch on time. <laughs> By bringing all of these products together across the mobile and desktop experience, we're moving to a single platform that drives better user experience and faster hiring outcomes. But we're also laying the foundation of technology for the next decade of innovation. You can take advantage of the first pieces today, but there's so much more to come. I also wanna recognize that our products are not the only world you live in. There's so much more that you do. And one of the key components of your workflow is your ATS. Customers tell us all the time how tedious and painful it can be to work across separate systems, which is precisely why we built Recruiter System Connect. A couple of years ago, Recruiter System Connect was just a vision. We didn't have any partners. Recruiters hadn't heard of it. 
But today, I am thrilled to announce there are roughly 5,000 companies using Recruiter System Connect, and we're partnering with all of the major ATS providers. I'm also thrilled to announce that our newest partner, iSIMS, is going live with us this coming quarter, and Oracle is live with our first joint customer today. But even better than all of this is what all of this means for you. Recruiters are saving over three hours per week just by having the right data in the right place at the right time. That's tremendous. We're so excited to see all the value getting created there. But we couldn't help but recast our vision into an even broader and more aspirational goal for how we could help you more. Imagine you're searching through your ATS and you find someone who passed interviews about a year ago. There are probably a few people like that and they're interesting to reach out to. Similarly, if you're in Recruiter and you find someone who just started looking for new opportunities, they're interesting to reach out to also. But by integrating these systems, so this data matches up, we can tell you when that's the same person, a person who passed their interviews a year ago and just started looking for jobs yesterday. That immediately becomes your number one candidate. We're so excited about this, but this is not just a pipe dream. We call this unified search. And I'm pleased to say we're starting to work with the leading players in the industry to make this a reality soon. This is how you bring strength to an ecosystem. By, we're taking an, a, an approach that's more expansive, more inclusive, bringing more partners onto the platform. And all of this that I talked about, this is a microcosm of our Better Together plan. Recruiter is integrating with Talent Insights. Recruiter's integrating with jobs, talent media. We're integrating with your ATS. All of this integration is not just better for recruiters, it's better for job seekers also. To talk more about how our hiring products are coming together, please welcome Sarah Beth Anders to the stage. Last year, I announced that we were building an ATS for companies under 1,000 employees. If you missed it, it was really understated. This year, Talent Hub is here. It's here. And for the first time ever, you can source, manage, and hire all in one place. In order to bring you the very best product, we sat side by side with, with hundreds of customers, and we listened and we learned. We didn't want you to just be content with Talent Hub. We wanted you to be excited to use it every day. And so to our early customers, I want to sincerely thank you for being our design partners and co-creating this product with us. To give you a closer look of the progress we've made over the past year, I want to share a video with you from one of our early customers who also happens to make my favorite ice cream. Please roll the video. The concept is pretty simple. Give calorie conscious consumers a chance to eat ice cream and not feel bad about it. And I'd say we've succeeded. Halo Top became the number one selling pint in the United States in 2017, outselling brands like Ben and & Jerry's and haagen -Dazs. Seriously, it actually tastes good. What really drives our business is the team we're building. Talent is everything. I mean, they have to love the ice cream, and they do. We fill up the freezers, these people are animals, they clean them out. We have no shortage of candidates here. We're actually the second most sought after startup on LinkedIn. The challenge is sifting through a thousand candidates. When I first found out that LinkedIn was coming out with an ATS, I literally was like, oh wow, why didn't you do this five years ago? You have an entire database and the candidates updated themselves for you. Talent Hub is just integrated so beautifully with LinkedIn. We immediately started seeing talent pool insights, which led to more qualified candidates more quickly. The benefit of being able to source, manage, and hire all on LinkedIn is tremendous and will give me an edge on landing talent before my competitors. I truly believe Talent Hub is the future of hiring. I can now focus on what matters, which is determining whether or not a candidate can grow here and whether or not we'll grow as a company with them here. As you can see, 
as you can see, we're having so much fun working with Halo Top. Of course, Talent Hub can help you schedule interviews, post jobs to non-LinkedIn job boards, integrate with all your hiring tools, collaborate with hiring managers, and extend offers. But that's not why I'm excited, and that's not why we built an ATS. I'm excited because Talent Hub finally gets you back to what you love, helping candidates land their dream jobs. Talent Hub on its own would just be another ATS. What makes Talent Hub so special and so unique is that it is built on the LinkedIn platform with billions of data points at your fingertips. John just showed you the new recruiter and job ex jobs experience. Talent Hub is that experience completely combined with a reimagined applicant tracking system. Talent Hub is that, sorry. Let me show you what I'm talking about by taking you through some of my favorite magic moments. Our customers have told us all about their favorite magic moments and we want to share them with you. When you open a rec in Talent Hub, you'll immediately see a preloaded list of candidates and past applicants. That means you can start sourcing without ever having to type in a single search query. That list comes come supercharged with insights so that you can connect with candidates at exactly the right time with exactly the right message. But we don't stop there. We also provide you with a list of high quality candidates that are recommended to you. It's one of my favorite features because you can find candidates that you may have never even knew existed. Let me explain. Who here likes country music? Woo! Well, I love country music, especially Patsy Cline, Shania Twain, and Hank Williams. And so I've created the perfect Pandora station. And over time, that station has learned from my many thumbs up and thumbs down, and often surprises me with artists I didn't even know I liked, like Carrie Underwood. Well, Talent Hub works the exact same way. It learns from every interaction and gets smarter and smarter and smarter. It provides better recommendations to you and better recommendations for candidates going forward. All of this is designed to make the hiring experience much more efficient with Talent Hub learning from your preferences and learning candidate interest and quality compared to the skills required for your open roles. Talent Hub also gets smarter with every hire made in the system. It predicts your hiring process so you know exactly how many candidates it takes to fill an open role and just how long it'll take you to do so. And finally, Talent Hub gives you the power to see where your dollars are going. In a typical ATS, as much as 50% of applicant sources are misattributed. This is exactly why we opened up our platform, to give you the power to see where your dollars are going and see where applicants are coming from, whether from LinkedIn or other job boards. But most importantly, it'll allow you to measure your ROI and adjust your spend accordingly. All of these features, all of the foundational ATS features combined with the magical moments that I just shared with you are all designed to help you grow your company with top talent faster. I hope that you're as excited as I am about our new ATS. It's just one piece of the bigger picture of how the world of work is changing. By delivering you a better candidate experience, we are giving you the best head start at building a winning team. John just shared how the changing workforce has pushed us to expand our vision beyond recruiting and hiring to building people-centered workplaces in which the amazing people that you hire can do their best work. Jim Barnett from Glint and Emily Pogue from Learning will be out here in just one second to share our vision for people's success. But before we do that, I have one more thing. Last year, I announced that 100 customers would receive one free year of Talent Hub when they signed up for a three-year deal. We sold out in under a minute. And so we wanted all of our customers that have under 1,000 employees to take advantage. So please use the link or talk to your rep after this. I hope that puts a smile on your face. But if it doesn't, I have one more thing that will. It's going to be so hot out there today, Dallas. So go enjoy some Halo Top ice cream this afternoon in the concourse. My favorite is the mint chocolate chip. Thanks, y'all. Oh. 
Christus Health is a faith-based, not-for-profit health system that was started about 150 years ago by three sisters who answered a calling. We may not have the most resources, but what we do offer is a culture of caring for our patients. Nationally, there's a talent shortage in healthcare. That means that as an organization, when we hire these great people, we have to do everything we can to retain them. We do that by making sure that they are valued, that they feel heard, and that ultimately that they have the support that they need to do their job each and every day. Uh, we used to do annual surveys for our associates. The problem was it took weeks or sometimes even months to get the results. There were issues with associates being able to take the survey because our caregivers aren't sitting at a computer or a desk every day. They're out on the patient floors caring for patients. We're only two Glint surveys in right now and we're already seeing a huge impact. Our managers are dialed in to our associates' comments. We finished our survey on a Friday. By that Monday, we already had action plans rolled out and our CEO was fully engaged. Our associates want to do their best work. And so they want to learn the skills to manage stress or develop and grow in their careers. And by developing these skills, they're able to provide better care to our patients. LinkedIn Learning enables us to provide support to our staff without pulling them off the floor. Our caregivers know that they have a resource that's available to them whenever they need it. When I see talent that I've hired move up the ladder, striving to do their best work and enjoy doing it, I've done my job. That's the ultimate reward. Providing opportunities for learning and development is crucial to ensuring that we achieve our mission at Christus Health. We want to see our associates move up, not out. Making sure that our associates are growing and advancing in their careers. That's how you foster a culture of people's success. Please welcome Vice President and Co-Founder of Glint, Jim Barnett. Thanks so much, Sarah Beth. I'm really excited that LinkedIn and Glint are on this journey together. And when we talk about people's success, we're talking about enabling people to bring their best selves to work, in order to do their best work. We want to make sure they have a voice, that they have the resources they need to do their job well. They feel empowered. They continue to learn, develop, and grow. We're talking about putting people at the center of everything we do. When I started my career, I worked for a series of leaders who weren't very happy. And this sort of rocked me a bit, because I had grown up with a mindset that happiness comes from external achievement. But it led me on this incredible lifelong journey to understand happiness. And I've learned a lot. I've learned that we have predispositions for happiness, but that those can be improved with things like meditation and behavioral techniques. I've learned that for many people, our life circumstances, you know, you know those things that we're so busy every day trying to rearrange? They actually don't account for as much of our long-term happiness as we think they will. But one of the most fascinating things that I learned on my journey was that people who live their lives in service of others in fact, people who see their vocation as being of service to others tend to be happier. So my co-founder, Gotham Kura, and I, we decided to dedicate our lives to understanding happiness at work. We wanted to create something that would be of service to others and a win for humanity. And that was the beginning of Glint's mission to help people be happier and more successful at work. Over the years, we've worked with hundreds of companies that are striving to increase engagement, build great cultures, great employee experiences, and we've helped them move away from that old, traditional, 100-question annual survey that nobody wants to fill out to a much more agile, and continuous listening approach that really works. 
In fact, millions of employees have received the Glint Pulse over the last year alone, and over 80% have responded. We've given managers and leaders visibility so that they can see exactly what's going on with their teams. We've given them insights so that they can see what they need to work on and what to do about it. And we've given them guidance on how to take action to improve. But putting people at the center isn't just the right thing to do by your people. It's the most important thing you can do for business success. In fact, many of our customers tie their engagement outcomes to their business outcomes using the Glint system. United Airlines ties their engagement outcomes to really important things like flight arrival rates, customer satisfaction, and employee safety. And using the Glint system, they can even predict which of their teams is likely to have an issue in one of these areas in the coming quarter. One of the other things that we've learned from our customers is that managers play a really big role and have a really big impact on their team's engagement letter levels. So over the past year, we've released a suite of capabilities to help managers improve engagement on their teams. We released what we call manager concierge. That helps managers understand their scores. It guides them into taking action and collaborating with their teams. And one of the things that we've seen is that putting engagement at the center of everything you do is important, but helping people do their best work is just as important. So in working with these millions of employees, we've seen that engagement and performance are inextricably tied together. In fact, a recent Harvard Business Review study showed that over 90% of leaders believe that their most engaged employees are their best performing employees. But very few companies tie their engagement programs to their performance programs. So at Glint, we saw this incredible opportunity to create a holistic approach to performance management that included engagement as well. And today, we're very excited to announce Glint Perform. Glint Perform is an agile and forward-looking approach to helping your people develop and grow. It enables more frequent and higher quality conversations between managers and their teams. And it taps in to what really motivates them. I'd love to share a few of the things that make Lint perform so special. Its key features are conversations, goals, feedback, and insights. Let's start with performance conversations. They're an incredible opportunity for feedback, self-reflection, and growth. But many people don't know where to start. So Glint Perform gives you best practice templates for managers and employees to answer. If they get stuck, we give them thought starters, guidance, and advice right in the system to help them get unstuck. Feedback is another great opportunity for personal growth. But many people don't want to leave the flow of work in order to give and get feedback. So with Glint Perform, we've put feedback right into the flow of work, right into those applications that you're using all the time, like email and calendaring. And when you've got a big presentation coming up and you send that invite out, you can actually request feedback right in the request. 
and even provide a template so you get the exact feedback that you're looking for. Finally, Glint Perform gives you insights into how your performance management programs are working. It tells you things like, what are the topics that people are talking about in their conversations? And how are those topics impacting things like employee engagement, performance, and growth? Glint Perform is currently in a charter program with tens of thousands of employees across healthcare, finance, and construction using the product today. Over 80% of employees have input goals into the system, and over 84% of the scheduled conversations have been completed. We're told that Glint Perform is easy to use and leads to higher quality conversations. But what we're most excited about is that for employees that have been in the charter program, we're seeing employee engagement levels increase substantially from the beginning of the charter. We're looking to forward to sharing more about Glint Perform in the coming months, and now to talk about how learning and skills development play a critical role in people's success. I'd like to welcome to the stage Emily Pogue. Thanks, Jim. It's been really amazing to have Jim and the Glint team as part of the LinkedIn family, not only for the opportunity to collaborate, but for the opportunity to learn from such world-class innovators. I find that most people join the LinkedIn learning team because of at least one personal experience that sparked for them a deep belief in the power of continuous learning. And today, I'd love to share with you one of mine. About a decade ago, I had the opportunity to work in Lusaka, Zambia, with an organization called Kamako, or Community Markets for Conservation. Kamako is entirely focused on reskilling, specifically on reskilling wildlife poachers who have turned to poaching out of necessity to provide for their family, but in doing so, are having a detrimental impact on the African ecosystem. Kamako retrains poachers in sustainable agriculture and then pays them a premium for their products, like honey, peanuts, and soy, and then markets them under a now quite popular brand called It's Wild. I was privileged to see firsthand how Kamako truly transformed lives. They have trained nearly 200,000 sustainable farmers, dramatically reduced poaching in the area, and increased their, their community's in, uh, income by 450%. This experience was not only inspirational, but it's one that I draw on often since I've been at LinkedIn, where we're also focused on creating economic opportunity. And as I've reflected on Kamako's success, particularly in an area where so many other organizations have stumbled, I'd argue that much of their success is due to a focus on a few important truths about how people learn and why people learn. First, learning is most effective when supported by a community. So Kamako immediately places participants in a cooperative that facilitates knowledge sharing and peer mentoring. Second, learning should tie to positive, immediate outcomes. If it doesn't, it's unlikely you'll keep engaging. So Kamako participants see an immediate impact on their household income and investment in their community's infrastructure. And finally, Learning must meet people where they are, or it simply won't happen. Kamako has been successful because they encourage participants to farm on their own land, to work with and near their family, and to set their own schedule, making learning a new skill incredibly convenient. 
Now, I recognize that Kamako's challenges may seem quite different from ours, just as each of our challenges are different from one another, based on our industry or location or other unique context. But these learning truths likely sound familiar to the learning and development professionals here today. These are truths that talent professionals, talent developers get. It's where you're expending your precious time and energy in your organizations to create shared learning experiences, to highlight stories of successful outcome, and to bring learning to employees where they already are. And these are truths that continue to increase in importance as the need for learning and development increases in importance. There are so many macro trends heightening the need for learning, from digital transformation, to a decreasing shelf life of skills, to a shortage of knowledge workers, as John talked about. I could go on and on, but these are drivers everyone here in this room knows all too well. Learning and development is shifting from a nice to have to a need to have. And so more organizations are increasing their investment. In our 2019 Workplace Learning Report, we found that 43% of learning and development professionals are expecting a budget increase this year. And that's up from just 27% in 2017. We recognized four years ago when we acquired lynda.com, the need and the opportunity for a different type of online learning solution. One that would partner with you to engage your employees more intelligently. It's these three learning truths that made Kamako so successful, that talent developers live and breathe, that guide our product roadmap. And as we've gained momentum, now with 23 million subscribers and over 12,000 LinkedIn Learning customers, including 78% of the Fortune 100, we've gained a much deeper understanding of how to effectively deliver against these truths. And so I'm, I'd love to share with you a little bit about what we've been up to and what's ahead. As John mentioned, Reid Hoffman and Alan Blue founded LinkedIn with the goal of creating a community that would fuel collective professional success. And with our community now 645 members strong, we are uniquely positioned to help employees learn more effectively together. In addition to our course recommendations, over the past year, we've rolled out Q&A to all of our courses so that your employees can ask questions and get answers from other learners, from their network, and even from our instructors. And we recently piloted study groups, enabling shared learning experiences amongst people who have common goals. We've seen really promising results with that pilot, and so we're gonna be extending it to nearly 2,000 courses in the next month. As it relates to outcomes, we've learned from talking to our customers, including our fantastic customer advisory board, who I know is in the audience today, how differently each of our customers think about measuring the impact of learning. There is no one size fits all and every company is unique. So we've rolled out skills insights with the goal of helping every customer understand their organization's unique skill profile, how it changes over time and how it compares to industry peers. With that information, L&D professionals, department leads, people managers, are armed with dynamic, always up-to-date information that they can leverage to drive the outcomes that matter the most to their organizations. And finally, we remain laser focused on a vision to naturally flow learning to employees when they're already doing work. For example, if you've been to LinkedIn lately, which hopefully most people have, you've likely seen LinkedIn Learning courses recommended in your homepage feed. Here is one of my favorite stories from a member who saw a course recommended by a colleague, and so she took action, she took the course. 
I find this a really powerful example of both what happens when learning is in the flow of work and the power of community. LinkedIn Learning and Glint also present a unique opportunity to engage people managers in the flow of work. Now, I know there are many people managers in the audience. I'm a people manager as well. And so I assume, like me, you are totally nailing it. No development areas, your team thinks you're awesome, they say just keep doing what you're doing, you're fantastic. So we're gonna be hypothetical and talk about a people manager who's not in the room today, who maybe got their employee results back, and there were a few areas for development. Maybe their team wanted some more coaching and career advice. In the future, Glint will automatically suggest a people goal with relevant LinkedIn learning courses to help you strengthen, help them strengthen their people manager skills. So that's relevant content delivered when it's timely and most needed. So we're doing all of this on top of continued investment in developing expert-led, up-to-date content. We now have over 15,000 courses in seven languages, and we're adding 60 new courses every week. We've also invested tremendously in our continuing education programs to help professionals across industries stay up to date, like our HRCI and SHRM programs that are probably relevant to many of you in this room. And while we'll continue to deliver the quality content that our customers expect from us, I don't think there was a question that my colleagues and I got more often last year than are you billing, bu building a learning experience platform? For those less familiar with an LXP, it's a single learning experience where employees can discover and engage with all the content an organization needs to serve their diverse employee base. So this includes company-generated content and often several third-party content providers. Well, last year, we weren't able to commit, but today, we absolutely can. Yes, we are building an LXP. And our vision... <laughs> our vision for an LXP is to extend community features like Q&A or following internal subject matter experts, to extend our ability to demonstrate outcomes through features like Skills Insights, and to extend our ability to serve content in the flow of work to all the learning content an organization cares about, making it easy for employees to discover and engage with the learning content most relevant to them. One of our charter customers, Kellogg, is on a journey to move to a more modern, agile, and innovative approach to learning. Flora Flossison, the director of global learning at Kellogg, is leading the effort, and he's excited about how our LXP can help his employees grow, thrive, and develop in their careers. We are so excited to continue building out this vibrant learning community on a platform that lives by these three learning truths for an exceptionally engaging learner experience that will help you develop the people you hire and help you to develop winning teams. With that, I will hand it back to John to bring us home. Thank you, Emily. And thank you all so much for being with us on our 10th anniversary of Talent Connect. Over the last 10 years, we've seen the first signs of this wave of disruption that's now sweeping over our industry and so many others. I hope you're as excited as we are about what all this disruption will bring, about this vision for the future, where we have a more holistic understanding of people. This vision has led us to make huge investments in our platform, which is why today LinkedIn customers are 40% more likely to hire a professional from an application on LinkedIn compared to an application on other leading job boards. We've changed so much. We've built so much to make this happen. But just as important as telling you the ways in which we have changed is telling you the ways in which we will never change. We will never step back from this core belief that by connecting, people can help each other. We will never stop working to ensure that our impact is positive for you, 
for your companies and for the job seekers whose lives you change. This belief has served us better than any piece of technology, and it will continue to guide us into the future as we build more and we work with partners more. But there's one big partner we haven't mentioned yet, and we have further to go with our vision as we look out into the future. We've started to explore with Microsoft what it would mean to not just integrate the world of talent, but to integrate the world of talent with the world of work. We're excited about that future. We're excited to help take you there. Thank you.